draw the following. Here we are on last question, question number fourth of our last exercise 4.5 of chapter fourth, mathematics class eighth, chapter name practical geometry. It says we need to construct a parallelogram whose name should be OKAY such that dimension of OK should be 5.5 cm and that of line segment KA should be equal to 4.2 cm. So we wrote a parallelogram as OKAY simply jotting down all the information for our reference and OK again it is continuous therefore it must be the line segment equals to 5.5 cm. So the same has been written over here. Another we have KA again continuous therefore it must be the side of this parallelogram equals to 4.2 cm. Now using the properties of parallelograms we are not provided with the angles. By default in our mind parallelograms appears to be some tilted figure but we need not to go complex ways. We already know we have a geometrical figure called as rectangle which is also a parallelogram. So we wrote note rectangle is also a parallelogram therefore in our rough sketch we will use our picture of rectangle keeping in mind one of the sides should be greater than the another and we mark down its vertices as OKAY again anti-clockwise it's your preference you can consider it clockwise as well so OK is 5.5 cm so the same has been done in our rough sketch it means opposite side will also be equal to 5.5 cm then we have KA equals to 4.2 cm so KA equals to 4.2 cm indirectly means Measurement of YO should also be equal to 4.2 cm and all the internal angles are 90 degrees and opposite sides are parallel to each other as well equal in measurement. So these are all the properties of parallelogram. Therefore never get confused from the question. Always try to correspond it with the memory that you have from your previous learning. So that completes our rough sketch. Pause it and try to construct it yourself using your own preferences. In step number first, we simply connect O and K with a distance of 5.5 cm. So the same has been done in step number first. Pause it and try to construct it yourself. At vertex O and K, we need to construct 90 degrees. Since it is 5.5 cm, so we will readjust the compasses at a distance of 2 cm. That will be adequate for our angle construction. So after adjusting our compasses at a distance of 2 cm, we put our needle at vertex O. We constructed this arc such that it should intersect line segment OK. Now we put a needle at this intersection point and constructed this arc such that it should intersect previously constructed arc. Now we put a needle at this point and intersected again the previously constructed arc like this. Now we put a needle at this point and constructed this arc. Again we put a needle at this point and intersected this previously constructed arc like this. This point and vertex O will give us 90 degrees at vertex O. We did the same using our dotted lines with the help of ruler. Pause it and try to construct 90 degrees at vertex O yourself. Now at vertex K we are going to follow the same steps that we performed at vertex O. Put a needle at K. Construct this arc such that we must get intersection with line segment OK. Now put a needle over here and intersect this arc like this. Again put a needle over here and intersect this previously constructed arc like this. Now put the needle over here and construct this arc like this. Again put the needle over here and intersect this previously constructed arc like this. Now this intersected point and vertex K will give us 90 degrees and mark it down with the help of dotted lines. So these both are rays in this case. Again, try to construct 90 degrees at vertex K by yourself. That completes our step number second. In step number three, we need to adjust our compasses at a distance of 4.2 cm. After adjusting, put the needle at O and try to intersect this previously constructed dotted lines at vertex Y. Similarly, now put the needle at K and try to intersect this previously constructed line segment and mark down as vertex A. Again pause it and try to construct step number 3 yourself. Now in our final step, step number 4, it is just a matter to connect our newly found vertices Y and A with the help of ruler. If all of your previous steps are correct, 
then this must read 5.5 cm on your ruler and tidy up your construction by erasing these arcs and jotting down all the internal angles equals to 90 degrees and all the values that is measurement of line segments as 4.2 cm 5.5 cm as we have constructed in our rough sketch also the vertices itself as okay simply copying rough sketch with the final image again pause it and try to construct it yourself so with this we have constructed all the exercise of a chapter named practical geometry for our standard 8th and we observe that bisection method helps in order to construct angles and it is okay to use protractor for complex angles measurement with this our exercise 4.5 has been solved